doctor at Cincinnati Children's, and today we're going to learn about gastrostomy tubes. A gastrostomy tube, or G-tube, is a feeding tube that's placed through your child's abdomen into the stomach, done in the operating room under general anesthesia by a pediatric surgeon or pediatric gastroenterologist. G-tubes are used to deliver formula, liquids, and medicines directly into a child's body. Learning that your child needs a G-tube might seem scary at first, but your care team will show you everything you need to know, including how to use the G-tube, what supplies you need, and how to properly clean the parts. That way, you can care for your child with confidence. First, let's take a look at the two different kinds of G-tubes. A button is a short, skin-level G-tube with an extension set for feedings. There's also a G-tube with tubes that rest partially outside of the body. Both kinds stay in place with the help of a small balloon or bumper that sits inside of your child's stomach. Additionally, there's a plastic piece that's attached to the tube outside of your child's body to keep the G-tube from sliding. Both types of G-tubes can be used to give fluids with the help of a syringe or a pump. Before your child is discharged from the hospital, your care team will show you exactly how to use your child's G-tube. You will learn how to prevent infection and you will be given supplies to use at home. Always begin by using hand sanitizer or by washing your hands with soap and water for 30 seconds. Then, turn the faucet off using a clean paper towel. Gather all of your supplies and put them on a clean work surface. It's helpful to have everything together. This includes prepared formula, medication, extension sets, syringes, feeding bags, replacement tubes, gauze, and tape. It's a good idea to have written instructions handy too, so you can keep track of what needs to be done. And do always check the expiration date of formula. Follow the directions for refrigeration and know how long formula can be kept once it's prepared. Place fluids in the syringe or feeding bag and connect it to the G-tube. A syringe can be used to give small feedings and medication, while a feeding bag with a pump is used to deliver large quantities of liquid. When your child's feeding is finished, it's important to properly clean each item. Use a small syringe to flush the line with water. Then clean all of the other parts with soap and warm water. Finally, rinse them and place the parts on a clean surface to air dry. Daily and as needed, clean the area around your child's tube using soap, water, and a gauze pad. Rinse it with warm water and gently dry your child's skin. We're glad you joined us to learn more about your child's G-tube. While it may seem like a lot to remember, it's pretty easy once you know what to do. With the help of your care team, you will quickly learn to feed your child properly and stress-free.